Let's talk about GST today with a simple example. Suppose on your birthday you are going to the school when anyone wishes you for the birthday you want to give some chocolates to him or her. Your friend Arnab first had got the chocolates after wishing you. Then your class teacher wished you and you gave him or her some chocolates. At the end of the school timing your friend Ankita wished you and you gave her chocolates. So in each case when you are meeting someone you are giving him or her some chocolates instead of this process you gave all chocolates to the principal to distribute all the chocolates equally so there is a common difference between the multiple and the single tax in the business scenario as well now what is gst goods and service tax is abbreviated as gst a common term for the business few countries use the term vat instead of the term gst Now GST is a consumption based tax wherein the basic principle is to tax the value addition at each level of business tax paid on the purchases or transaction is allowed as a credit against the liability on income GST doesn't categorize goods and services GST is basically a tax paid once for business purchase or transaction instead of several tax payments at each layer Now let me explain this with with an example. Let's consider a publisher of a book. He arranged the materials for printing worth at rupees 500 or sum, which includes a tax of rupees 20. With this raw elements he publishes a book. For the publication of book he adds rupees 60 to the initial raw materials then gross or face value of the book will be rupees 560. The tax on the output or scale will be rupees 56 at the rate of 10% tax but according to the gst he can set off this against the already paid tax rupees 20 thus the effective gst applicable for the manufacturer is rupees 56 minus 20 which means 36 similar case will be applicable for the next stage from the manufacturer to the seller Now another example is given it says Arjit Basu received the health policy of his family and as SGST the paid rupees 1200 find the total premium paid by him for his assurance at the GST rate of 15% now the solution can be let he paid x amount in the total for the premium since SGST and CGST are equal we have 15x divided by 100 which is equal to 1200 plus 1200 which means x equals to 240000 divided by 15 which means 16000 Another example says a retailer buys a TV for rupees 2000 from a wholesaler and sells it to the customer at the rate of 10% profit if the sales are interested and the rate of GST is 12% then find the selling price of the TV by the retailer except the tax so the solution will be cost price for the retailer is 2000 and the profit is equal to 10% so the selling price is equal to the cost price plus 10% of the cost price which means 2000 plus 10% of 2000 which means 2000 plus 200 which means the answer is 2200 And number 4 says MS Raju Traders provides the following services to some trading company find the total billing amount it says the number of items are 5 and the cost of each item and its gst is given now the solution can be the selling price plus the total igst which means by solving them you can see that the answer comes as 18600 plus 19035 which is 20535 another example says a automobile dealer from kolkata supplies the items to another dealer in delhi at the following price rates now calculate the total billing amount so it's obvious that the total amount is equal to the selling price plus the igst which means 17710 plus 31087 and h which means it comes as 20897.8 i hope this chapter of gst is clear to you all thank you